have plenty of games left to play here in the regular season, Clark. Is it too early to start thinking about the playoffs? You know, that's kind of an interesting question. It really depends. For players, I don't think so. I mean, it's never too early to think about postseason goals. That should always be foremost in your mind. For us, yes. We have no business making predictions right now, partner. Now, the opening lineup for the New Orleans Pelicans. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. Sharing the wing spots, it's Jones and Ingram. And it's McCollum in at the point guard position. Pass to Reeves. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Really doesn't matter what position LeBron is playing. The point, the four or the five, James changes games with his passing ability. Ingram against James. Shot from the wing. McCollum outside. Six on the shot clock. Jones, the best of Allen Shunas. And it's Allen Shunas finishing it off. And how about the awareness from Allen Shunas? He read the pick and roll coverage there beautifully. The pass to Wood. And here is LeBron. the arc and a can Los Angeles with the triple all systems are on go when LeBron has the ball behind the arc Ingram against James now McCollum here's Valanciunas and there's the bucket stand with it on the offensive glass getting it done and, and you know what he doesn't mind getting his hands dirty when it comes to really fighting on the backboard. Yeah, we call those winning plays, particularly when you're doing it with the kind of effort he does. Those kinds of hustle plays, it'll be interesting to see what he's got left in his tank because he usually makes a bunch of those. Now, here's Valanciunas. His last outing with 20 points. McCollum up top. He's guarded by Russell. Here's Valanciunas. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. James, the pass to Wood. Here's Reeves. Takes a three. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And going against New Orleans, their first meeting of the year. And they won the season series last year, trying to continue those winning ways this time around. And you look at it, two middle of the pack teams, they both need every win they can get as they try to ensure they get into the playoffs and maybe even get a decent seed. McCollum, no good. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Russell kicks to Davis. Russell sets a screen for Davis. Passes to James. Sinks the triple. LeBron's got eight. LeBron ready to fire. Shot it with confidence there. Pelicans trail by three. McCollum outside. The three ball. And he's good on the three ball. After missing his first four shot, good to see him finally get one to drop. Outside, Davis. Here's Reeves, defended by Jones. James, good. That's 10 points for LeBron. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Here's McCollum. Gets the 14-footer to fall. He's got five. What a professional. McCollum's reliability on offense is such a gift to his team. Here's LeBron. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball 
and get out of the way. LeBron against Ingram. Lakers with the rebound. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. Pass to Russell. James looking around. At the clock winding down and the dunk by James. Boy, really nice play. LeBron showing real good instincts on the offensive glass there. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. And now the NBA's all-time leading scorer. Clark, LeBron did something most people thought would never. So for New Orleans right now, in the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. The front court full of star power with Ingram and Zion. And it's Valanciunas in at the five. Davis finds James. Here's Wood. Count it. Wood's got four points now in the quarter. And that's LeBron, one of the best front court playmakers. That is something you just can't teach. Cullen passes to Ingram. Over LeBron. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down to four again on the bucket from Ingram. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Back to James. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. Still a ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. And you look at McCollum. He's going to need to leapfrog quite a few great shooters if he's going to be a part of the three-point festivities in All-Star Weekend. But well, maybe he can do it. I mean, it, anything's possible, especially if he has a few big games from beyond the arc before All-Star Weekend. That'd give him a nice bump in the voting. And as the votes keep pouring in, we'll keep you updated on any changes to that list. It looks like we're going to have quite a group. Man, you talk about the ultimate marksman's list here, Kevin. Maybe this will be the year somebody gets that perfect score. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Outside, Jones. Clock at six. Back to Williamson. It's hauled in by LeBron. James has got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Russell. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. And now a six-point Laker lead. Well, you know, this is just who Russell is, in my opinion, guys. A very assertive and confident player who looks to score the ball as much as he can. And again, no good by New Orleans. Davis with it. And you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. Russell with a wide open look. Drills it from outside. Russell's got the lead up to nine now for Los Angeles. You know, you look at Russell and the green light is always on from there for him. And he shoots it with confidence. The feed to Valanciunas. And the layup's good off the glass. 20 points for Valanciunas. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Los Angeles calls timeout. And sports may be the ultimate meritocracy. Does it matter where you're... And so it's the Lakers with it. Now the pass to Reeves. Russell a screen on Jones. Out to Russell. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, and it's not easy to do. Much easier said than done, but 
they're capable of making it happen. It just comes down, I think, to will and desire. Put a screen on McCollum. Pass to Hachimura. Here's Wood. He's covered by Ingram. And there's Wood. That's good on the assist by Hachimura. Wood's got six points in the quarter. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Ingram against Hachimura. Screen by Valanciunas to the middle. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Zion Williamson is, of course, unique athletically. His teammate C.J. McCollum says, I don't know if we'll ever see somebody with that strength, power, speed, and jumping ability. At times, the Pelicans' offensive game plan becomes simple, McCollum said. Get the ball to Z and get the heck out of the way. Kevin, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> I picked up on that, David. Thank you. <laughs> Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time defense. Fifty-nine seconds left here in the second. Shot is good, and the Los Angeles leads cut down to seven on the bucket from Ingram. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. And, and trailing in this game now is not the time to start playing conservative. I mean, if you've got an open look from deep, let it go. I mean, you've got to play freely and with confidence. Fourteen feet away. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And one way Valanciunas generates offense, using that big body to snare the board and keep the play alive. Pass to Hachimura. A fader. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Valanciunas has got rebound number eight now on the night. McCollum kicks to Ingram. by Valanciunas. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Lakers lead by five. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. Okay, LeBron James, what an impressive effort today. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. The wing pairing reads with LeBron. Anthony Davis is out there with Wood, and it's Russell. And at the point, that's who's in the game for the Lakers. Boy, you got to love that assist by LeBron. And so it's Williamson with it. He brings it up for the Pelicans. Trailing here by eight. We're always hearing the debate, who is the greatest of all time? Well, Clark, do you think passing Kareem's all-time story mark finally puts LeBron out in front? Kevin, that in and of itself puts LeBron in rarefied air, no doubt. But when you're talking about the greatest player of all time, we all have our opinion. It's just so hard. Oh! LeBron showing you how he does it. A stylish flush by King James. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Here's Jones. Nothing on the board. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. McCollum outside. Shoots from 12. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got four assists in the game. Los Angeles leading by six. Pass to Reeves. Feeds it to Russell. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Russell's got seven points. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Ingram against James. 
looking to get back on track here. And it's Ingram missing. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. LeBron James on the wing. He's covered by Ingram. This offense is first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. Jones with the bounce pass. McCollum passes to Ingram. Back to McCollum. Four on the shot clock. No good from Valanciunas. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Wood kicks to Davis. Here's Reeves, defended by Jones. Reeves gets the bucket. Great feed from Davis, a big guy with nice vision. Pelicans trail by 10. I'm out called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And you know, Clark, it, it wasn't an easy first few years in the league for Christian Wood. You know, sometimes the hard road is the more productive road for some guys. You know, he played for five different teams in his first four seasons, Greg, but in his fifth year, he found his groove, and sometimes it takes a little longer for the big guys to find their way. Here's Jones, still scoreless. Here's McCollum. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from McCollum. Ingram against James. Davis with a screen on Ingram. James, the pass to Davis. And it's Russell in the corner. And that one falls, coming off of Davis's feed. Russell's got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. New Orleans has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Valanciunas, that's a screen for Ingram. Kicks to Valanciunas. And that's in. Nice feed on the play. And now, 24 points for Valanciunas. Wow, you know Valanciunas is in the zone when he's taking shots like that. You gotta love the confidence. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Wood a screen on Jones. Six to shoot. That one wide left. Pelicans trail by nine. Williamson kicks to Ingram. Back to Williamson. Knocked loose. And here is LeBron. 25 points in the game. Davis, good. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's McCullough. That one a little long. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for Los Angeles. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Right wing. Russell against McCollum. There's the pass to Wood. And finished off by Wood. You know, it's all about getting good position, ideal position. And once Wood has that, the rest is simple. McCollum up top. He's guarded by Russell. And so the ball out of bounds. McCollum touched it last. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Look at the Lakers. They hold the first place spot in the conference just right where they want to be. They've got momentum. And checking out New Orleans, five games behind. And you know, for the Pelicans, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. You know, I thought maybe they'd have it in them to actually join those leaders this season. But you're right, it's still nice work considering where they are. And finished off by Wood. Wood flying up to slam down the alley -oop emphatically. Pelicans trail by 15. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. Vanderbilt with the screen. And here's LeBron outside. 
Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And it's Williamson missing. The Lakers have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. Russell kicks to James. Back to Russell. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Ooh, just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Williamson outside. And it's McCollum in the corner. They double-team McCollum. Here's Alvarado. Trains it from beyond the arc. Alvarado's got seven points here in this sport. Offensively, McCollum sees the floor well. Not surprised to see him spot the open teammate. Los Angeles, Chimura. And it's Austin Reeves in for Prince. New Orleans also making some changes. Jonas Valanciunas, who's checked in for Nance. Brandon Ingram comes in for Trey Murphy. And Jones subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Back to Davis. Pass to James. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And the Lakers with another miss. Tell you what, guys, you don't see that often. I mean, when he's this open, usually it's lights out. Alvarado passes to Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. Some young players tend to defer in big moments. Not Zion. Russell kicks to Davis. No good on the three. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Alan Judas with a screen on Russell. And there's the pass to Ingram. Over LeBron. Here's Valanciunas right through the D for the layup. Valanciunas has got the lead up to three now for New Orleans. And how about Valanciunas coming through here when it's a big possession, giving it to him is a great idea. And it's out of bounds. Nice touch by Valanciunas. New Orleans making a switch here. McCollum's checked in. Here is Davis. Gets a very good look and converts. Oh, he is just so clutch, saving his best for when the pressure is at its highest. Valanciunas sets a screen for McCollum. Passes it to Ingram. Over James. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. I wonder if switching baskets really threw him off. I mean, because he can't get anything to fall this half. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Williamson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Ingram outside. 59 seconds left to play here in the fourth. On Lopes. No good from Valanciunas. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by one. James, the pass to Davis. Back to LeBron. Top of the key. Alan Junis grabs the board. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. Williamson looking it over. On the wing, Jones. Shot clock at six. Screened by Alan Junis. Boy, the list and activity of Wood making a huge impact here. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're down by one. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Loads it up for Wood. Yes! Yeah, that's a big shot for Wood when they needed it most. He's always been steady as a shooter, and now somebody you can trust in the clutch. Now a timeout called up in this situation. And we call those ATOs or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in a game. And when it matters most, the coach has the confidence that McCollum will deliver. So it's a narrow victory for New Orleans, pulling it out for a double. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its height.